So why can't you bet on the Spanish life site industry? Here we have identified some of the strengths that we have in this sector. We have an emerging industry, a strong basic science, innovative infrastructures, highly trained and skilled workforce, a strong government support, and an integrated healthcare and research and development system. I will now go, now to go deeper in each of those strengths. So first, we count with an integrated healthcare system. That means that in Spain we have a, a very wide network of hospitals whose managers are also doing research activities and are also doing research activities in center of excellence. So that, um, that produces an optimum and a very positive scenario for translational medicine and for translational research. We have the same people working from basic research to the patient treatment. So there is a very efficient workflow. And this is because we count with a wide network. We count with near to 300 hospitals that are hosting almost 3,000 researchers. We have more than 70 universities, public and private university, that means near to 1,000 of centers, and more than 270 public research centers. And as you can see in this map, all these centers are distributed all around the country, and uh, they, they have the possibility to work together because they are very close to, to each other. Next strength is the strong basic science. In Spain, we have a very long and a strong tradition in biochemistry and in molecular biology. So that means that uh, we, we have a very strong scientific output that provides a valuable source of opportunities, commercial opportunities for companies that would like to come to Spain to work with this scientific output. As you can see here in this graph, Spain ranks number four in the European Union in scientific output in biotech and applied microbiology. Also, we count with an emerging industry. The number of startups, uh, biotech startups in Spain has grown very quickly in the last year. Just in three years, from 2003 to 2006, we uh, have a growth of 70 percent of growth. So this is because we, we have a growth very faster. And you can see here the evolution in the number of, of companies in biotech sector. Here you can see an extract of a study, a survey that was made by a public research institute in Spain. And what they did is that they chose some indicators as public investments, private expenditures, scientific production, number of companies, revenues by companies, etc. And they studied all these indicators in different countries. In Spain, the average annual variation was near to 22 percent, when, for example, in the European Union was near to 3 percent, and in the United States near to 3.3 percent. So that means that the Spanish biotech sector is a very dynamic and a very emerging sector. Next strength is the workforce. In Spain, we are in the 11th position in the world in number of researchers. We have near to 7,000 researchers that are working in biotech and um, biomedicine activities. 66% of the biotech the biotech researchers that are working in, in the public Spanish system were seated by American patents. And also we are over the average in the European Union in number of scientific publication and in number of postdoctoral studies. So um, the message will be that for a foreign companies that would like to come to Spain, they will find a highly trained and scaled workforce to work in their companies. We come also with innovative infrastructures. We have more than 80 science parks that are hosting near to 3,600 companies. And all those infrastructures provide space and provide equipment for new companies that would like to locate it in, in Spain. And it's very interesting that um, some of those science parks are specialized in particular areas, as for example, in biomedicine. So a company, um, that is established in, in those infrastructures would, would, would have the opportunity to work with other companies in the same activities. 
Here you have a list of one uh, of some of the most important infrastructures that we have in, in biotech and, and life science industry. For example, I'd like to emphasize the Spanish National Research Council that is the largest body in Spain for research activities and uh, is playing a very active role in transferring results from the public sector to private companies. Also, it's very interesting to emphasize the European Observatory for Biotechnology because it's the center of reference in, in Europe for biotech information and it, it is located in, in Spain. And the same case for the European Steam Cell Network that is also located here in Spain. So it's uh, very proud for us to have international institutio institutions located in our country. And also, we, we have an emerging industry because we count with a strong government support. Has been an increasing support from the government, particularly for the creation of new companies in the life science sector. For example, the Ingenio 2010 program is a financing program for research activities with particular areas for biomedicine and biotech activities. And a legal framework permits also the creation of new companies. Just two examples of the legal framework in, in life science industry is the new Spanish laws on biomedical research that implies the creation of new biobank register and very interesting also the legal framework for the cultivation of GMOs. So we count with other Spanish instruments and laws that permit the creation of new companies and the development of biotech projects. In this slide, you have uh, some important dates of the biotech industry. And I would like to, to emphasize some of them because are also uh, important investments of foreign companies. For example, in 2000, Pfizer opens the European Biometric Center in Spain and was an investment of 12 million euros. In 2002, Ligi, an American company, opens in Spain the Medical Chemistry Research Center that is one of the biggest worldwide and was an investment of near 20 million euros in our country. And also very interesting, when GlaxoSmithKline, the British uh, multinational pharma company, opens the Molecular Screening and Tropical Disease Center also in, in Spain. Here you have just an example of all the samples that we, we have in Spain. I'd like to emphasize the Pfizer. It's a, an American pharmaceutical company that is leader in the number of clinical trials. In particular, in Spain, they have invested more than 55 million euros in more than 800 hospitals with clinical trials. So they have involved a large number of Spanish researchers and they have worked with a large number of hospitals to develop their, their clinical trials. In, in this part of the presentation, I'll show you some of the business opportunities that we have identified in, in our industry. Um, if you are interested in any of these opportunities, you can you can ask us to give you detailed information because we can help you to, to study your, projects, your project in any of those areas. For example, we, have, we count with personalized medicine, food quality and safety, venture capital, nanomedicine with more than 20 companies working in this particular field, generic drugs, that is one of the markets that is growing faster in Spain than in, in the rest of the world, biofarming, we can also with functional foods, oncology, it's a very interesting field for us because we have a 35% of increase in clinical trials in these in this fields, and um, bioinformatics also. And just to finish, I'd like to, to invite all of you to attend next year to BioSpain, that is one of the most interesting international meetings for biotechnology, and it will be held in Spain. So thank you very much for your attendance. And if you have any questions, we have some minutes afterwards to, to have these comments. Thank you.